Hello and welcome to this video guys. Today we're going to look into event binding. So starting with events, what is an event really? In Angular, the event binding allows you to listen to events such as user clicks. So that would be the on-click listener. Uh, we could also listen to mouse movements, key presses and respond to them with code. So let's get started. Jumped into the app component file here. Let's go ahead and create a button. So in order for us, for instance, if we would have a submit button, we could just bind the click event to a certain function. So call my function, function. So this would essentially then call a function which we should have in the app component. So in the corresponding TS file that we have for the component. So this is how you bind a click event in angular so this will trigger the function when you click on the button then there are alternative ways you can have key up events so on key up for instance on input fields uh, and you can then pass in the event in this way so the event will be the actual click event and going to the ts file once again we can receive the event in this way um, and here we have an event which we can listen to and take action on so now we've gone through the click and key up event there are custom events there's something called em uh, event emitters something you use when uh, for instance you have a child component and you want to communicate from the child to the parent component so i have a header component in this case which we can utilize for this purpose so going to the header component we can just go ahead and add an output here so the output will be an out event emitter which will emit on a on a specific uh, thing so we could say output we're going to say menu open equals to new event emitter and it needs to come from angular core make sure you have that <clears throat> and this is going to be of type void and then we can re react to the change when the menu so here we can say this is menu open because we have a function that actually toggles the menu so we can say um, if the menu is opened we can say this menu opened emit and this will emit an event to the parent so we can listen to the menu open from the app component so in order for us to set this up we'll use the parent this is syntax that we had before menu was open and we can have a function here which essentially can listen to the uh, changes that or the event really and the question might be how do i really did i misspell anything really let's see here menu was open menu was open here as well so let's see what the issue might be hovering on it will give it away does not exist on app component uh, yeah seems like i added it on the wrong file so in in this way we are essentially on the app component listening to an event being triggered from the header so when when the menu is opened it will trigger a an, an event which we can listen to from the app component so from the parent component so this is how you communicate from a child component to a parent component through event emits event emitters so now the question might be how do i really pass in some data from the child component so here we can say let's not do it only when it's open so we can say menu open state instead and this should then return a bool value which is going to be either true or false so we'll emit every time we the menu is being changed uh, so here we can say we are emitting either true or false and now the question might be how do we listen to this change from the app component when we're passing in the open state from the header component so the answer is quite simple it's exactly the same way you do as for, for the other events. You would have the event here you're adding. And here you would say, uh, is opened. Boo. And whatever is being changed from here will be the true or false value that we are emitting from the header component. All right. And obviously we need to change in the HTML to have the same name. So menu open state instead of menu open that we had before. So now that we have this, we have gone through the communication from click events, key up events. There's also multiple multiple of other events which you can which are which are built in in Angular. You have the mouse mouse enter. Uh, you have the mouse down, mouse leave, mouse move, mouse out, mouse. Out. And as you can see, there's a couple of different events that you can have, and there's 
even a better way you can do it in Angular. For instance, if you, you want to listen to a an, an specific key event, so for instance, when the user presses enter, you can bind it in, in this way, say key up, enter. So when, you, when the key enter key goes up, it will trigger this event. So to simulate this a bit with the Chrome browser to make it easier for us to understand, we'll put the Chrome side by side. So now that we have them side by side, let's go ahead and add a text to the button. So click me, uh, let's call it this. So when, when we click on this button, it will trigger this function. And let's add an alert, hello world. It's just going to prompt up when we cl click on the click me button. So as you can see here, it prompts the hello world. And in, in, in this way, we can see how it would look like. So to continue, we can also see what, what will the menu really be. So if alert is opened and we have the now it's it's only registered for mobile devices so let's make sure that we have the mobile menu here whenever we click on this button it's going to trigger a change on the button so in this case the menu is opened and we'll, when we close it the menu will be full so it's 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 a quite basic pattern here so as for the key app uh, we can essentially try that as well so we're going to the app component file once again uh, we're going to say on key up. Now we know that the key up is going to be the enter. So we can say enter was pressed. So now that we we press, uh, we type enter within the, within the input field, it's going to call this function. So now I'm pressing enter and it will trigger this chain. So I would say when you know which specific key you want to do or, or use then you should bind it in this way otherwise you can have a function if, you, if there are several that are supposed to be behaving in different ways you could either bind them in this way or you could have one function listening for key up in this way and now if we would go to that component here it's it's going to be uh, the key key up event that we can listen for so wh whatever i will write it will return the keyboard event here so as, as you can see here it's, it's trying to print some objects and so on you can obviously add some console logs in order for you to, to see this and so on. All right, guys, this is for the uh, the actual event listeners. Now we have other things that we can listen to. We can set up host listeners, uh, host bindings and so on. That's something I'm going to cover in another video, guys. Thank you for watching. All of the best. Bye.